Hey everybody, this is Billy at BeTough. I'm here with Rhonda at the Emporium Western Store. Of course, you are blowing up on YouTube. Everybody loves your videos. Man, we have one today that is gonna be so much fun because it's one of my favorite movies. And we are gonna do two hats today and they are gonna be from Urban Cowboy, Bud Davis's hats. As he comes in to Pasadena, as, he, as he's moving to Pasadena, right, Texas? Yeah. We're gonna do that one with the straw hat. Then we're gonna do his bull riding hat, right? We're gonna do all that stuff. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna talk about the movie along the way and we're just gonna have a good time with it. Yes, right? yes we are. You've been getting a lot of people here. Yes. You've been getting a lot of people coming in and getting hats, right? Uh -huh. So, and it's, I mean, you're becoming famous here, right? I mean, it's, you get people, where's the furthest someone has gotten one from you now? Well, I just, yesterday, somebody, or Sunday, they came from Oregon to okay. get a hat. Wow. Uh, I get lots of calls from the truck drivers that travel all over Florida. I just sent one to Florida, Connecticut, New York, Oregon, um, Gosh, there are just, I've been getting a lot of calls. A lot, a lot of people, lot right? Of people calls. from L.A. coming here? I mean, yes, yeah. people from L.A. are coming here, Santa Maria, uh, up north. Yeah, I could yeah. see why, though, right? Yeah. A little history here. Yeah. So, uh, Urban Cowboy came out in 1980. Mm -hmm. Big hit. I put a poll one time on our Facebook page. I, I asked the people. It's pretty big. And I asked people, you know, what was one movie that is hard? Like when it comes on, you don't change it. And one of the big movies was Urban Cowboy. Urban. When that movie comes on, you don't change the channel, right? No, you watch it over and over and over and over and don't get sick of it. <laughs> it's got drama. It's got good music, right? Yes, I mean, the music really is spectacular music. in it. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, man, that's one movie you don't turn turn off. So we're gonna start with the first one. Let's let's. What are we starting with here? Okay, this is an American hat, straw hat. It's got a little bit taller crown on it, seven inch crown, four inch brim. Yeah. And his, it look he has a four inch brim on for sure, but he his crowns in his on his hat, so they're all really tall. So <laughs> that was I'm big in the that was probably big in the late seventies, right? Tall. Oh yeah. Tall crowns, yeah. man. I mean. That was that was the thing, boy. Make you look taller, you know. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, you know, I, I, here's a little trivia question, man. Let's see if uh, who can you name the artist when a, a, a what's the first song that comes on, Urban Cowboy? I'm not even gonna answer. I'll let you guys. Well, who's the singer of the first song that comes on Urban Cowboy as he's driving into Pasadena? I won't even answer it on here. Well, let's see if people can guess it. Okay. But th there is some great. I almost said it for you. Don't say it for me. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Okay. All right. A little trivia question. A little huh? trivia, man, along the okay, way. We'll let people we go. figure that out. We'll start with the crown. I don't have them here, so I'm going to try to get it as straight as possible. Okay. So, yeah, um, even uh, Sissy that's in the movie. Yeah. Is it Deborah got, Winger? I think it's Deborah Winger, right? Yeah, like she's got uh, a cute hat, hat shape on for her, too. Yeah. And we'll do it maybe can do something like that. But um, anyway, so his hat is different. It he's got between a um, a cattleman uh, shape and a cowboy shape. Okay. To where the top of it almost looks like a little tiny square, but it's not. It's opened up a little bit more than a cattleman is is on the top of that. The hat here. Let me show you. So a cattleman has a tight a tight crease right down the middle. Like so, okay. This is like a cattleman right here. It's kind of got a tight squeeze. His has got that, but a little bit more wider than a cattleman. You know the interesting thing about John Travolta in that movie is that I believe that this, well, I don't know. I think this came out after Greece. I could be wrong. I think this came after Greece, and I think it came after, is it? Saturday night fever is it Saturday night fever? Or Saturday what? night fever. Um, is that right? Greece Saturday night fever. And welcome back, Carter. He was welcome on welcome back, Carter. Yes. So people probably laughed at the idea of John Travolta playing a cowboy, right? But he played it perfect. I he mean, did. I mean, he was believable he in that. It. Yeah, he nailed it. Yeah, it's like he does all of his movies. So and his hats were a little taller in the front okay. than it was in the back, almost like a rancher that we carry in a felt. But see how it's. Yeah. It looks like almost like a little square. Right. Now we're going to do the sides. Okay. Okay. And uh, back then, tall crowns were just really popular. Yeah. And and they're coming, slowly coming back, though. They are. It really is, yeah. Everybody likes the tall crown. <laughs> Not everybody, mostly everybody. But, um, yeah, that movie is... Then you get a little bull riding in there. 
Yeah. Which yeah. really made bull riding popular, yeah. right? I mean, uh -huh. I mean, there were mechanical bulls showing up everywhere after that movie yeah. in all the bars, man. I know, and, and Gillies just. That was a dream bar for a lot yeah. of for a lot of people now wish there was a Gillies. You know, Gillies yeah. is now I think it's a car dealership, unfortunately. And the only thing left is I think they left the mounts for the sign, just as like for the city. You know what yeah, I mean? But exactly uh, like a like track. Like a monument. And, yeah, yeah, it's a monument. Well, yeah. not the whole sign, just the mount. Just the mount. Yeah, for yeah, Gillies, man. For Gillies. So yeah. his was like a small indention here with it, and it kind of came down to a like almost not a point, but it just came down and rounded off right. So it made the crown really tall. Yeah. So we'll do the other side. And um, he, uh, when he was practicing on the bull at his uh, his grand his uncle's uh, friend's house or whoever uh, coworker, he had a back in the day his uncle did the mechanical bull right, and so they went, always went over to this friend's house and would practice on it so when he was practicing on it he uh i don't even remember him falling off <laughs> really. he stayed right. on it pretty good yeah i just remember like when i see this hat i think of that first scene when he goes into gillies for the first time he's got his beard on yeah. right the music's rowdy there's some fights breaking out here and yeah, there yeah. and it really sets the tone for the he movie he's kicking back drinking his beer <laughs> yeah yeah well he's like shocked at gillies like he can't believe how massive it is you know yeah exactly i because i guess the town that he came from was just real small and i think it was outside. oklahoma i could be wrong yeah I, it sounds right i think it's oklahoma if we're wrong though yeah correct us, correct us. you can correct us because yeah, we're wrong sometimes but, um, yeah, he uh, came from a small town. Had to Pasadena, to, Texas. Pasadena, Texas, where's where he went. Yeah. Okay, so his brims were just slightly in old school. I mean, not straight up, but yet in the front he had a curve. You still get people wanting old school hats? Yeah, oh yeah. They do? Yeah. Okay. I do. Um, Quite a bit, you know, actually. Uh, it's like half and half. You okay. Know? You got the young generation and the older ge uh, generation. And um, then you got the really old generation, which way old school. Right. And um, so. So the front of his hat had a really smooth uh, square to it. Like a roundness, not even a square, just kind of round. Let's see if I can get this. Just bend a little bit. I'll just put my thumb there. Round it like that. Okay. When you watch movies and you see people wearing cowboy hats, do you ever look at what they're wearing and say, oh, he's wearing a this or he's wearing a that? Yeah, I do. You do? I, do. Yeah, I can I imagine. Say, oh, that's a nice looking, you know, hat. Yeah. Looks good on him, you know. And a lot of people come in and they ask me, Rhonda, Shape it to match me, you know, face, body style, you mm -hmm. know, and stuff. And, uh, and that's always fun because I will tell you, <laughs> no, that hat does not look good on you. Right. <laughs> you know, uh, I get a lot of big guys, you know, come in and they have, get a little four inch brim and it's like a little itty bitty hat on the, on this, on a big guy. And it's like, no, 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 no. Here, let me, let me help you out. So this is what I see in the movie. This is the back. And let me fix the front again. Hold on. Um, but yeah, I um, I look at hats, even watching a movie, I'll say, oh yeah, it's so and so shape or whatever. Or that somebody will ask me, my mom, she'll ask me, what kind of shape's that, hun? I go, oh, that's a cattleman, you know. She goes, what do I want? <laughs> I'm like, okay, mom, <laughs> I'll get you fixed up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Urban Cowboy, back when I watched it, back in the 80s, everybody was tripping over their own feet to go out and get cowboy boots, Wranglers, and get a cowboy yeah. hat, and get all dressed up like cowboy, you know, and yeah. go to the cowboy bars. And so Mickey Gilly said that it revi uh, revamped his career. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Which I could see that. I could see that. And I think it probably revamped, I mean, it probably put a lot of people into country wear and stuff, right? Into the, I mean, mm -hmm. because you know what also it did too is it, it made people feel like they could be cowboys living the city life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Without the ranch. I mean, really, it did, you know. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's exactly what it was, you know. Right. And um, you don't have to have a real bowl to go, but, you know, ride it. It's yeah. like the mechanical one, right? Right. But, uh, yeah, he, uh, he beat the tar out of that old boy at the end, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> West High Tower? <laughs> Yeah, yeah the, the, man, I tell you, when you could, you could almost smell West High Tower, man. With the, when he came on that sea with that, remember that see-through net shirt that he had, the T-shirt. Oh my gosh, back in the eighties, that was so like, yeah, you know, it was yeah. just funny. He just looked like a villain, man. He played an awesome villain in that yes, movie, he man. He did, he sure did. And then when he drank the tequila, yeah, with the worm, with the worm. Oh, then everybody started doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a thing now, you know. My. uh I had a cousin that knew how to do that perfectly without drinking the whole Yeah, without drinking the whole thing, yeah. yeah. I said, oh, okay. He goes, he had to have done it that way. Yeah. Okay, so this is like basically what he was wearing when he came into town. Yeah, that looks like it for sure. Okay, kind of rounded and... Yeah, there know, it is. Big old tall crown. <laughs> there it is, that's Texas style right there, right? Yep. Yeah, very cool. All right, so now... We've got okay. the straw hat coming into Pasadena. Now we're going to do the bull riding hat, right? Yes. And we're Which is a felt. Felt. Uh, Rodeo King felt. I'm going to use that. Okay. But I, so i got to cut down the brim. Okay. So I'm going to use it. So I'll cut down the brim. Get going on that shape. And he basically had kind of almost the same shape. Um, now he had a little bit taller. Did he have a little bit a little taller bit, crown? Yeah. A little bit taller, but of course yeah. we're gonna use a little bit for. Yeah. But we're gonna. But he had a little bit taller one. Yeah, and being that this is is only a six, mm -hmm. he has was probably a seven, and like I just used. Yeah. Since this is a six, we're still gonna make it look just like that one. Right. So we're gonna cut. People actually liked this last time you did yeah. this cutting this. So what do we yeah. got? Show us this tool here. Okay. So this is my cutting tool. Okay. It takes a half inch. Oh. Hi. And um, you. Here, I'll show you. There's a blade that comes down right down the center here. Okay. So I slide this in yep. like so. And then when I push down on the blade there, they cut it just then. Okay. Okay. And I just go with the hat and just push. And it cuts. Perfect. Perfect ring, circle. perfect circle, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. gonna do one more. Okay, because you're taking an inch off. Yeah. Right. That was an in, a half inch there, so I'm gonna take one more in, half inch, make it an inch, like I said, and then start shaping. I was saying, thinking too, the hats that I have shaped, some of them I kind of kept, you know, in mm -hmm. the back. Uh, maybe someday that we can go and get them and reshape them to something else. Oh, there you go. Okay, here we go. So, plain open crown. Is the Rodeo King one of the most popular selling felt hats? Um, it's a toss up. Okay. Um, when I have Americans in stock, they the young they love to get the Americans. They do. Okay. Yeah, and then when I don't, they'll you know go to the Rodeo King, which. Uh, it's all right. I mean, they're both good hats, but I really like American the way they shape up, you know, and stuff. Um, they just feel better. I don't know. Like they're just, I don't know, something about them. Well, it's what they they blend their stuff in, right? This time I'm going to start with the crown. I mean, the brim. So I'm going to start with the brim because I want to make the hat look taller. Mm -hmm. So if I start with the crown first. It's going to throw everything off and it won't look like a tall crown. Okay. So I'm going to start with the brim first. All right. Which is, a lot of people like the, the hat shapes. Some of them do start just out with the brim instead of the crown first. Kind of gets the line, but I'm going to make it just like that. Kind of hold it. He always had that smooth front. And then, it, and it depends, you know, you get, you'll get a hat that just, boom, you shape it up. I mean, it's faster than fast. Yeah. And then some of them you'll get, and they just, you have to keep going back and they'll fall, you know, on one side or whatever. You have to keep going back and reshaping it. So. 
How does a felt hold its shape compared to a straw? Um, pretty good. I mean, uh, a, a felt would be more temperamental to sweat, though. Yes, right? yes, and it, they do tend to when they cool off, they kind of fall, you know, yeah. down if you want it like up or whatever, and you know, they'll the, when they cool off, they just kind of lose its shape a little bit. Yeah. So that's why you don't want to use a whole lot of steam. But I like to use strong steam, get it soft enough to where I want to just one time. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just one time bending it over and shaping it, and then that's it. That's that's the way I like to shape. But uh, it doesn't always work out that way, of course. But okay, now he didn't even have his come down in the front. But we can talk here. You know, I asked the question too. I said, who is more of a likable person? Pam, who is better for Bud? Pam or Sissy? Oh, Sissy was by far, I think. I think she was more like Bud. Like Bud, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah she just, uh, like, it, like they said in the movie, he had his old fashioned morals where women don't do that. Women yeah. don't get on a mechanical bull and ride it right. in front of everybody. That's for men only. But she was like, oh, my dad is, I, I work with my dad at the uh, yeah, she's auto a me, she's store, a mechanic. at the auto mechanics, and, <laughs> yeah. and if he gets under the hood and works, She's so a tow truck driver. Yeah, exactly. Remember that? She's a tow truck driver. driver. Remember, she, and, she flipped him off one time. Remember that after when they yes, were on the outs? when they first, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, that's where they bumped heads. Yeah. But they loved each other in the movie, you know, so. But yeah, she was a real pretty girl, the girl that he was. Yeah. She played in The Officer and Gentleman, too. I think she played in that. Did and she? then she, I think she played on the show The Ranch. She, oh, yeah. I think she was um, on that. That yeah. does make that, you know what, you're right. That does make that crown look See, taller. Does that make it look taller? Oh, yeah, big time. That, that does? Yeah. That's why I was wanting to do that. Yeah, See, I could see that. Hold it up right there. Yeah. And then bend this a little bit more. And then down at the brim. Get this going right here. I like to look at my mirror. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he didn't have a real wide front, just a smooth. Okay, so his hats were like like that, you know. Right. Now the back. Make it a little more round up here. So, you know, interesting thing about that. So, one of the things about that, in fact, he even calls Wes Hightower, he calls him Tattoo, right, yeah. when he's drunk. And yeah. I think, remember that? Yeah. And, uh, but I think that's probably one of the biggest changes. There's a lot of cowboys now have tattoos. Yes. <laughs> They're probably a little bit more exactly. like Wes Hightower. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I bet he even has a couple of them now in yeah. life. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but, yeah, he, uh, back then he just didn't, tattoos were not, uh, hide it, you know. And yeah, stuff. yeah. But, um, he did all the uh, interesting thing. John Travolta did all the writing of the bowls. Of course, yes, there's no other, did. you know, so he, he actually does all the stunts. Yeah. yeah. And that, uh, I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. And, and his own dancing boy. Oh, he's, a, yeah, he's a good dancer. He anything at him and he could dance it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, now we're going to do the crown. See, the that there's that famous scene taller? which. See, it made it look taller, huh? Yeah. yeah. The crown. There's uh, that famous scene where she goes, you know how to two step? And he goes, yep. She goes, you want to prove it? You know I mean, that's a famous scene, right? On the dancing part. Yeah, she walks up to him and, oh, she just cracked me up. Yeah. yeah. But do you remember, like, there was that one, like, the first time people got a glimpse of what he looked like without his beard, standing against the bar with a long neck in his hand? Yeah. That's an iconic shot. That is an iconic uh, shot. That is an iconic shot yeah. for cowboys, you know? Yeah, it was. And then Gilly's Bar of all. Yeah. You know? And uh, I heard that they were, I think, I read something about it. Correct me if I'm wrong, everybody out there. But uh, they really did have a dance contest. Really? In Gillies <laughs> during yeah. the movie. <laughs> yeah. I know I, th there was a, and this is kind of, man, this is some great stuff. There was a couple of dance people that I recognized from the show Happy Days. They were actually in that thing. So I don't know if they're, they're like professional dancers. Were. I don't know. It was a tall guy and a small girl. Probably if you've seen were. Happy Days, the dance contest when Fonzie got in there and had her dance with Joni, and like uh, yeah, he did, yeah. you know. Yeah, now we're telling our age. Oh, man, I'll tell you. <laughs> so he had like a little like square like thing. 
Taller in the front, lower in the back. Yeah. Now we're gonna put our sides in. Yeah, he, um, <laughs> and they had the, the bands that they had playing at Gilly's. Oh yeah. Were the actual, you know. Yeah. Charlie Daniels. Charlie Daniels. Charlie yeah. Daniels is out there, and of course Gilly was out there, and. And here he's he's gone now. Yeah. You know, but uh, yeah, classic movie. I think the Devil Came Down to Georgia was on that. I could be wrong. I think that was in that movie. Who? Devil Came Down to Georgia. Oh yes, he did. Yeah. That, but, yeah. Because he that's when he got out there and did that single like. Yeah. Step well, that he did. The tapping is. I don't know what they call what kind of dance they call. It, but. To me, it looks like banjo, like, you know, playing the yeah. banjo and yeah. getting around the fire and stomping your feet <laughs> type. Okay. So. People used to wear a lot of feathers in the 70s, too. Do you remember that? Was that wrong? Remember that? People like, feathers yes. were popular. Yes, because um, the race car driver. Uh, Richard Petty. Richard Petty. Yeah, Petty Feathers. <laughs> yeah, Petty Feathers. Yeah. But yeah, they, uh, it was popular. Yeah. It was real popular. I know my uncle had a hat. For like, Richard Petty hat. Richard Petty's hat. <laughs> yeah. like, Where did you get that, Uncle Bill? And he's like, oh, got it over there when I drove my truck to Oklahoma. Yeah. That's where he was born, too. Yeah. My dad. So, but, okay. So, this is the back, and I want to make it. Should be a little bit lower. So, here's the front. Okay. How it was. I tried to make it as tall as I could. So, yeah, but I don't hit it's not a very tall crown, but yeah, I mean, lower the back. This would be like the new if he was here today, Bud was here. This is the one he'd probably be wearing, yeah, little, yeah, same style, but a little bit shorter. Okay, crown. Pretty darn close if we're doing it by hand, yeah, Heck yeah. So, if I bring this down a little bit in the back, it'll make it look way taller in the front, okay. And let me bring in this side over here a little bit more. The steam wants to pop it out a little bit. See what it looks I'll see like. it. Let me bring these up a little bit. Okay. It's kind of going out like that. Yep. So let me get it real it. curl tight, right? Yeah. You had a, like a smooth. Sometimes I like to put the hats on my head and to shape the brims. Yeah. To get it. So his was like this, you know. Yeah, real tight. tight. Real tight. Yeah. Yeah. Up a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Get that one corner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, that looks pretty good. I think you got it pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah, huh? I mean, yeah, there it is, for, man. For guessing, you know. Right. And so what was the, this house? So what's the, the shape it has on the top? Uh, this is a, a cross between a cattleman and a, a cowboy. Right. A, a crown, and uh, because if you see in the, the the movie and stuff, it has it looks like a square almost, yeah. but it's not. It's just a wide square, a wide cattleman. Okay. You know, yeah. and they call it a cowboy. So he had a little bit of both. Yeah. But. Uh, well, of course, man. You always, you always <laughs> nail it. That's fun, man. That is a great. <laughs> you did a real good job on that one for sure thank you yeah hey there you go there you go there's the bud davis yeah. urban cowboy yeah. kind of a 2020 edition you know not quite as tall but it's definitely the shape for sure yep he uh quite the guy quite the guy it's a fun movie right yeah, now, now everybody guys. people are going to watch this and they're going to go watch have to go watch urban cowboy yeah, again right you haven't seen it you gotta, you gotta go back it. and watch it you gotta watch the all right, a lot of fun, of course. We're gonna be working on it. We have one, we actually started it, but we're gonna go back to it. We're gonna do a Doc Holiday hat from the movie, right? Tombstone. Yes, we're gonna find me a roller. We gotta get a, we gotta get a pen roller, right? But that's yeah. coming up. We're gonna do, uh, so Doc Kilmer's Doc Holiday hat, that's coming up down the road. But anyway, thanks for doing this. These are a lot of fun to watch, and I'm sure a lot of people enjoy it. And obviously, people are calling you for hats. I, I can see thanks why. For watching All right, this is, Billy. this is Billy, and this is Rhonda with our hat shaping at the Emporium Morphe Store. <laughs>